And back here at home, this is what it looked like in Mars, Butler County. Big flakes covering the cars within minutes, leaving parking lots mostly undrivable, to say the least. Meteorologist Ron Smiley, I was out running the snowblower last night wearing uh -huh. my hat, <laughs> and I was out there for about 45 minutes, maybe yeah. an hour. When I got done, I had about a half inch of snow on the brim of the hat. Hey, you know, it's funny that you mentioned that because I didn't even realize when I was out there and I had the uh, hoodie cap on uh, that the snow was all over the place. So when I grabbed it this morning, it was soaking wet and I was <laughs> like, ah, so I grabbed the earmuffs instead this morning. But yeah, you know, it's uh, it's some hard work out there. Make sure you give yourself a little bit of extra time if you're manually cleaning off those driveways and the sidewalks as well. Remember, you do have till the end of the day today in order to get that all done. The faster you get it done, the easier it's going to be. And this snow it looks like it's going to be around a couple of days. So you're certainly going to uh, need to clear that off. Hey, here's what's going on right now. A little bit of snow still out there, but overall our accumulating snow has come to an end. All the watches and warnings, the advisories that we had, those have all been allowed to expire as well. Rain, I should say the snow that we saw yesterday continues to slide off to the northeast. We're going to watch right here. You see this a little bit. It doesn't look like much around the Cleveland area, but that is going to be the possibility of some lake effect snow that might just slide right down east or should say west of the Pittsburgh area over to Washington County. Uh, possibility of Greene County seeing just some very light uh, precipitation later on today into the early hours of Friday morning. So we'll watch closely for that. Cloudy and cold for today. Light snow still possible today. And as we're heading into your weekend, it looks like the cold weather is going to be sticking around as well. Here's a look at model data and it's going to show you can see it right there. It's not going to be a much at all in the way of some snow, but some light snow will be possible later on today. I've actually had it in the forecast all week long. As we're heading into Friday, it looks like things uh, do dry out at least for Friday. And then on Saturday late after about 8 o'clock, we will have some light rain around. It looks like for the evening hours at this point. Hey, here's something interesting. Yesterday's 9.3 inches of snow that fell. That was the most single day uh, amount of snow that we had seen since Snowmageddon. That happened in 2010, February of 2010. So it's been a while since we saw the amount of snow that we saw yesterday. Hey, check out these other uh, snow totals coming in, including Pikes Peak at 16 inches of snow. A couple of places in Indiana with just some huge amounts of snow over the last 24 hours. Temperatures this morning is 27 in Cranberry this hour. No big change there when it comes to the wind chill. And we're expecting a high today of about 31 degrees. So no big ups and downs with your temperature as well. 31 today, 34 your Friday high. We'll bump that high temperature up to 37 on Saturday and we'll keep it there near but just shy of 40 degrees for a Sunday and a Monday high as well. We do warm up Tuesday and Wednesday with high temperatures. You can see them trending up right there. A Wednesday high coming in at around 47 degrees.